You've built your API. It's authenticating users with OAuth and checking their permissions with authorization. You think you're secure, but you've only closed the front door. The digital world is full of threats looking for any other way in. So today, we're moving beyond who you are and what you can do. We're diving deep into the critical layer of API security, the walls, the alarm systems, and the traps that protect your application from the most common and dangerous attacks. We're covering rate limiting, cores, SQL injection, CSRF, XSS, and more. First up, imagine a single user or a bot slamming your API with thousands of requests per second. This is a denial of service or DOS attack, and it will crash your server. The defense, rate limiting. Think of it as the bouncer for your API. It controls how many requests a client can make in a specific time window. You might say 100 requests per hour per IP address. A legitimate user might hit this limit if they're building something too aggressive, but an attacker will slam into it immediately and be locked out. It's your first line of defense against abuse and resource exhaustion. Next, a common headache in web development, CORS, or cross-origin resource sharing. Browsers have a critical rule called the same origin policy. A script from softsweb.com can't normally make requests to api.softsweb.com because they are technically different origins. This is a safety feature. Course is a mechanism that safely relaxes this rule. It's like a diplomatic passport. Your frontend at softsweb.com sends a request to your API at api.softsweb.com and the API responds with a header saying, I, the API, permit softsweb.com to access my resources. But, and this is critically important, you must remember one thing. Course is a browser-enforced policy, not a security mechanism. A malicious user can easily craft a request from outside a browser using a tool like curl and manually set any origin header they want. Since this request doesn't come from a browser, the core policy is completely ignored. Therefore, you should never ever rely on course alone to protect your data. If you are serving protected data, your primary security must come from standard authentication tokens like cookies or tokens. The access control allow origin header only tells the browser which origins are allowed to make cross origin requests. It does not stop an attacker from directly calling your API. Misconfiguring course is a huge risk, like setting it to a wildcard for a private API. But even a correct setup is not your security wall. Now, let's talk about one of the most classic and devastating attacks, SQL injection. Imagine a login endpoint that takes a username and password and builds a SQL query like this. This seems fine if the user enters John and password 123, but look what happens if an attacker enters something else as the username. The query becomes like this and the attacker is logged in as the first user in the database because one equals one is always true they've picked the lock. The solution is simple. Never, ever concatenate user input into queries. Always use parameterized statements or prepared statements, which treat user input as data, not executable code. This is non-negotiable. While SQL injection is a server-side attack, CSRF tricks the user's browser. Here's the scenario. You're logged into your bank's website. Then you accidentally click a link on a malicious site. That link contains a hidden form that automatically submits a request to your bank's API to transfer money. Because you're logged in, your browser sends your session cookies with the forged request, and the bank's API thinks this is a legitimate request from our user, and the money is gone. The defense? Use anti-CSRF tokens. Your server generates a unique, unpredictable token and gives it to your front-end. The front-end must send this token back with any state-changing request like a transfer. The malicious site can't see or steal this token, so its forged request fails. Closely related is cross-site scripting, or XSS. This happens when an attacker manages to inject malicious JavaScript code into a web page that is then served to other users. If your API returns user-generated content, like a comment or a profile name, and your front-end blindly inserts it into the HTML without sanitizing it, you're vulnerable. An attacker could post a comment that contains a script tag that steals everyone's session cookies. The solution is to always sanitize or escape user input before rendering it. Treat all user data as plain text, not executable code. 
So let's look at the big picture. A secure API isn't about one magic bullet, it's about defense in depth. Rate limiting protects your availability. Course defines a safe communication policy for browsers. Parameterized queries make SQL injection impossible. CSRF tokens ensure requests come from your trusted frontend. Input sanitization neutralizes XSS attacks. Security is a journey, not a destination. If you haven't seen it yet, watch my previous video on API authentication to understand the first part of this puzzle. What's the weirdest or most clever API attack you've ever seen or heard about? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.